Hello everyone, Neff here. And of course, this is my third time recording this because I did it a bunch of times and one time the mic was off, so yeah, that's how it goes. Anyway, so we've added a bunch of stuff. As you can see, we have a new funky main menu. It jiggles for no reason. I think it's kind of cool. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> um, so if I go to the map editor here, the first thing you'll notice is that we're not hard coding maps anymore. We now actually have the option to load maps, which is nice. So all of these random words here are just different maps. They're usually, a lot of them are just tests, so they don't do anything. But um, we can load up, hmm, here. <laughs> and this is a map I just made to show off, you know, stuff that's changed. These yellow triangles are new. These are actually mobs. So now when you, you know, place one of these triangles, which you can do by going to edit mode and pressing M, you actually place a mob, which is kind of cool. And you can also move them around and everything. It all works as you expect it to. Um, another nice feature of the editor now is that if we zoom in here and we scroll around, we can now actually make doors and elevators in the map editor. So I don't need a hard code anymore, which is a pain in the ass. So basically all I do is I go and select the sector I want. And if I double click, it shows me the property list for this sector. And so this lets me set basically, I mean, for now it's just for doors and stuff, but this is essentially how you're going to set a lot of the properties for a lot of things. It's pretty basic right now. There's no GUI, but like, I mean, it works. You just use your arrow keys, you know, or WASD. And so if I set it to be a platform, it'll move. I can set it to a door. And then when you actually set it to a door, it sets it up for you. So like it sets the animation to toggle and it sets the floor height and ceiling height and stuff. So that makes it a lot faster. And yeah, so that's much easier than it used to be. And of course, if I go into, you know, visual mode here, you can see the doors are just, you know, ceilings right now. But once I add the, you know, changes in the editor I showed you there, it turns them into doors. So if I go to the game now, I'm just going to not save this because I've messed it up. Like, messed it up. If I go to new game, and if I go down to, hmm, now we're actually in the game. So you see it's, it's very nice. Like, in the old days, I would have had to export the code, put it in the engine, you know, it was just horrible every time. Whereas now I'm going to have as many maps as I want to. So, um, yeah, that's nice. Anyway, let's do this. You might actually notice as well we have some a small amount of bob on the gun now. Um, I just added that in like the last five minutes, so if it looks a bit jagged, let me know. I think it looks alright at the moment. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. My throat's got a bit <laughs> um, tad horse today. But um, yeah, so let's just go kill things. Yeah. Die. Oh wow, you killed your... You bastard. How could you? <laughs> they do actually kill each other sometimes, back accident. Um, so yeah, let's go to door number th two. Oh, hi. And there's lots of them. There's lots of guys. Um, oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of guys in that room. They're actually watching me. Oh, they d you just killed your... F oh, wow. I gotta stop them doing that. They're really bad. <laughs> they keep killing each other. Um, so let's go in this way. And let's take out my Uzi. And let's just run in here and die! Wow, that was that was not very climactic, was it? <laughs> the Uzi sometimes works very well, but sometimes not. It actually doesn't fire too fast. But it's good with a group of people together. So, um, yeah, that didn't work out too well, but it usually does. And I have to add, like, you know, some stuff like transitions going upstairs and stuff, but eh. For the most part, a lot of the stuff is there now. But of course, because I added so much to the map editor, I naturally broke a whole bunch of stuff. So, because I had to change some really fundamental things. Um, I mean, for example, if I open this door, you'll notice the textures move again. That's not supposed to happen. Um, I know why that is, and I'll fix it. It's just because I changed something that broke that again. Um, so yeah, there's that, and there is this. <laughs> you'll notice the floating decal here. That's because you can shoot the doors, and then if you open the door, the decals don't go away. So I, I'm going to fix that, obviously. I might actually make them just track the doors, which would be cool. But yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything I've added for now. Um, as for what I'm planning, I do want to add some auto-aim into the game. Now before you hate me, you should remember that a lot of the old games like this had some auto-aim. And the idea was that you didn't really have time to aim because you were running around so fast anyway. And you had tons of enemies to kill. So the game was still hard, it just had auto-aim because it needed it. So I'm going to try that and see how it works. And then I have to add in switches to the map editor because that's not in there yet and that's important. And then, of course, sounds. Sounds are important. Because <laughs> the game is still silent right now. And, um, I mean, when you fire your, you know, your big energy ball gun, which looks like a shotgun for no reason, it, sh it should make a sound instead of just because it's all silent. and doesn't really do anything. You know, you should get meow or something to that effect. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, yeah. I think that's pretty much everything. I'm just rambling now. I'm trying to remember because I've recorded this three times, as I said. But, uh, but yeah, I think that's all for now. So, 
again, guys, as always, and good day.